The woman asks her stepson to calm down, and says that it's one thing at a time, and kisses him. When the man sees it, he becomes furious. But he says that the son is not using his tongue. The girl drops the broom, and awkwardly says she didn't see anything. The man tells his son to sit up straight. Then he says when he goes to kiss, use his hands. The woman tells him to hug her tightly. Then they start kissing. The man tells them to keep practicing. The girl tells the boss not to fire her, because she didn't see anything. He asks her to calm down, and says he will explain, and asks for her help. He says that he needs someone to go to the ball with his son, because he has a strange way, and he needs a girl to accompany him, dance among other things. She replies that it's not professional to do that. She says he's her boss, and she's asking for a favor and won't mind, and remembers when she came to him needing a job, he helped her. and offers her good money to do it. The girl asks how much. The man offers 5,000. She says she'll think about it. He offers 7,000. She accepts. Then he says that the son cannot find out. And completes by telling her to teach him how to kiss, dance and accompany him to the dance. And he tells her not to worry about the clothes, because he will take care of it himself. And he says to be very careful so nobody knows anything. She asks when she will receive it. The man replies that when she finishes the job. Then he asks if they really agree. The girl says yes. Then she withdraws. The girl comments to herself that the family is strange. The stepmother is teaching the boy how to kiss. But he is helpless. The father tells him to grab it when he goes to kiss. The stepmother tries to show him how to do it. The father also tries to help. Then the stepmother asks him to let go and not be shy. The father later says he has a better idea. And then call the maid. She appears and says what the boss wants. He asks her to come. The man and woman ask her to sit on the couch. She is helpless. The father begins to say that he was in the kitchen, and says that the maid overheard their conversation, and commented that she was interested in the boy. And the father says he was proud to hear that. The woman says this is great news. The father asks the son what he thought. The son is helpless. And the father starts to say that it will be great for them to go out together. The son says yes it will be. The maid laughs, embarrassed by the situation. 
The father said he had an idea, and got up. He tells them to look at each other. He says he's going to count to three, and they imitate that old game. The woman is also pressuring the two to follow the man's idea. Then he starts counting very slowly. When telling the two to kiss the card, he pulls it out and the two kiss. Everyone there laughed at the man's joke. The father asks what the son thought. He said it was cool. The girl pretending says it was cool too. The father speaks in her ear for him to say that it was good. And the boy repeats and says it was nice and comments that it will be nice to go out with her. The woman asks what the girl thought and she replies that it was good. The father is proud. The man and woman are talking to each other, happy they made it. The boy enters the room and apologizes to the girl because he didn't know she was changing. She, however, says she has no problems and flirts with the boy and says she needs help. He asks what she needs. The girl tells him to help her fasten her bra and the awkward boy will help her. She praises the boy, saying that he helped her a lot. He comments that since she's there, he wants to extend an invitation to her. The girl says she can order. He awkwardly asks her if she wants to go to prom with him. The girl says it would be great, jumping up and down with joy. He is glad that she accepted. She says she doesn't want to make fun of him and asks if he can dance. He laughs and says no. The girl says that she can teach him. He takes her shoulders and she says he takes her waist. Then she laughs, enjoying the situation, and the boy laughs too. Moments later, he is alone practicing how to dance. The maid walks by, and asks what he's doing. He says that this dancing thing is not his thing, and it shows how bad he is. She tries to encourage the boy. And he completes by saying that he never imagined going with a girl like her to the dance, and he's going to make a mistake at the dance. She says that she will train with him. The boy is negative and says it will go wrong. She tells him to concentrate. He says he can't. But the girl asks him to stop saying these things and concentrate. He says that dancing is difficult. She then suggests they dance to something easier. Then she talks about the steps. He asks if it's the dance everyone is doing. She says yes. Then they try to do the dance together, and they both have fun. The father is sitting on the couch, and when he sees his son, he praises him a lot. Then he asks him to sit down, to adjust his tie. The girl appears. And the boy says she looks very beautiful. She thanks him and says he looks good too. He asks if she's changed her hair, she laughs awkwardly, and says yes. 
he gives her a flower. The father asks if he didn't have better flowers to give, but the son says he didn't think so. The girl says those are great. The father gives them the car keys to go. The two go to the dance. Upon arriving, they say how great the night was, and the guy tells her not to call their friends, because they are that playful. The woman says it was a very good night. He says he's going to the bathroom and will be right back. The hidden father goes to the girl and thanks for the help and gives her the money. The son sees everything and is furious about it. He even asks the girl if everything they went through was a lie. The father says he doesn't have any problems, it was just so he could have a date for the dance. And the boy says that his father had no right to do that. He asks the girl for explanations. The father says that she doesn't owe explanations, because she is their employee. The girl however says that she liked everything she spent with him. The boy is sad and says that everything that happened was a lie. The girl says that at first it was all a lie, but over time, she ended up enjoying going out with him. The boy says that she liked his father's money. The man says that she doesn't have to like anything, because she received it to accompany him to the ball. She tells the boy that she liked him yes. The boy says the worst part was thinking it was all true. The father says he will leave them alone. The boy comments that she shouldn't have done that to him. She says he doesn't know what it's like to be in need and need money. The boy says that she doesn't give him the right to lie to him. She says that her mother is terminally ill and needs to help her family. And she says she never really liked him. She says yes. The boy says she's faking it again. She however loses forgiveness, and says that now she really likes him. The boy responds that he doesn't know if he trusts her again. She says she's not lying. Then the two kiss. And the two are happy to be together.